As people hold on to that hope, there was a candlelight vigil tonight. Our coverage continues now with NBC 26's Mo Hyder. Mo was at the vigil for those victims. Yeah, Cassandra, that candlelight vigil just wrapped up here a couple of hours ago. You can see a lot of people are what still are working with this difficulty, but they're uniting through their faith. I heard this big boom. A quiet community woken up by a nightmare. First time in all my life, it was so dark outside. I mean, you couldn't even see Even the dark. phones went out. Kathy Royt, who is visiting her brother in downtown Cambria, is staying about a mile away from the plant, was woken up by the explosion. Right away, you're thinking that there's a terror or something, but we're thinking in this town, what would there be? After a night of darkness and a day of questions, community members are looking for guidance. Leaders at the First Presbyterian Church hosting a candlelight vigil, letting people know they're behind them. I think it's important for people to see how, how much the church wants to be there, to be present with them. And I, most of the families are people of faith. So it's a natural. Relying on faith to get through this tragedy. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of need. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the mountains shake and the earth falls. The God of our our God is with us. But I always put my faith in, and think, well, God's going to direct me, and He's going to be the one to tell us, you know, what's going to happen. Now, people living in Cambria sending their prayers to their neighbors who need it the most. Now many relatives of the workers that were injured in the explosion are staying here today. The Red Cross is assisting them. They'll be back here at 9 o'clock in the morning. The church has told me they still need donations and you can donate them at the village office right here in downtown Cambria. Workers from the church will be here all weekend. Reporting live from downtown Cambria, Mo Hyder, NBC 26. Thanks, Mo. Governor Walker says his thoughts and prayers are with the victims, their families, and the entire village of Cambria. We're going to fly by 